The year 2025 has been a very different year for the California High-Speed Rail Project, a project that is both highly anticipated and endlessly controversial. Unlike previous years, 2025 has been quite quiet, but enough to make many people stop and wonder what is going on. Why do many people think 2025 could be the turning point that determines the future of the entire project? And more importantly, will this project continue to move forward or will it stop unfinished as many people fear? In today's episode of On the Trains, we will take a look back at what has happened during this tumultuous year. Overview. 2025 was not a big boom time for the California High-Speed Rail Project, but it was a year of quiet movement that created important breakthroughs. From a distance, the project appears to be continuing its familiar pattern construction schedule, adjustments, budget updates. But when we look more closely at the year's milestones, the focus has begun to shift. So do you remember what progress was made in 2025 regarding the construction progress of the California Rail Project? Let's go to the next part. But don't forget to subscribe to the channel to update important information about the modern rail system every day. Construction Progress In 2025, the California High-Speed Rail Project continued to see significant construction progress, particularly on the 171-mile stretch from Merced to Bakersfield in the Central Valley, the focus area for the first phase of the project. According to the official report of the California High-Speed Rail Authority, HSRA, by mid-2025, approximately 119 miles of track were under or were actively under construction with more than 60 major civil infrastructure projects completed, including overpasses, viaducts, and grade separations. These structures eliminate road crossings, allowing the rail line to achieve high speeds and ensure safety. The year 2025 marks several important construction milestones. To start the year in January, groundbreaking was completed on a 150-acre logistics facility in Kern County, creating a central hub for coordination and gathering of essential materials and equipment for the next construction packages. In October, two major grade separations at Avenue 17 and Hanford Armona Road were completed, eliminating road and rail crossings, improving safety and speed of operation. By November, most of the major structures in Kings County, including bridges and viaducts, were substantially completed, creating a solid network. In addition, the project has officially entered the track-laying phase with the Kern County Railhead area having completed its foundation in May. By mid-year, approximately one. 25 miles of track had been installed in the Railhead facility, which is primarily used for staging and logistics rather than the main highway. The agency has also outlined plans to accelerate the entire track and system package, including signaling and turnouts with major bidding and preparatory work expected to continue through September 2025. In parallel technical work, such as the installation of the electrification system and train control signals, is also being prepared, ensuring safety standards and efficient operation when put into operation. However, besides the positive signs, it is undeniable that technical and legal challenges are still hindering the project. The issue of land clearance is prolonged litigation over land use rights and difficulties in adjusting the technical design to suit the complex geological conditions in the Central Valley have not been completely resolved. These factors not only slow down the progress but also push up construction costs causing many construction sections to be interrupted or have to be adjusted many times. Moreover, although the track laying phase has begun, the actual track volume is still very modest compared to the entire project, which is expected to be more than 700 miles long. Not to mention the southern Los Angeles to San Diego and northern San Francisco to San Jose sections that have not yet officially started construction. This shows that despite significant progress on some sections, the project still has a long way to go and many difficulties to overcome before it can complete the entire high-speed rail network. In summary, the construction progress in 2025 can be considered vital with many strategic steps to help the project maintain its presence and trust, but at the same time it cannot be called a breakthrough or safely overcome the storm. If legal and technical bottlenecks are not resolved soon, the project risks stalling, undermining public and investor confidence, and even causing the project to fall into a deadlock state like many other large infrastructure projects in the world. Financial Situation in 2025 Finance is one of the most decisive factors in the fate of the California High-Speed Rail Project, and 2025 has not yet shown signs that the project has completely overcome its funding difficulties. The project's financial history was heavily impacted by federal budget cuts under President Donald Trump in 2019, 
when the federal government withdrew nearly $1 billion in loans, creating a major shock that forced the project to adjust its scale and construction schedule. This is one of the reasons why many observers were worried that the project would die young. The project faced another financial shock when on July 16, 2025, the federal government under President Trump officially began to recover nearly $4 billion in allocated but unused capital. This decision, which was forewarned by the FRA warning letter sent on June 4, 2025, immediately put the project in a more tense situation than ever. The reasons given were that the project was behind schedule cost overruns and lacked a clear plan to complete the central section's Merced, Bakersfield, on time. Not only that, in August 2025, the federal government continued to withdraw an additional $175 million in capital intended for ancillary work such as grade separations and stations in some key areas. These decisions caused the project to shift from a state of dependence on federal funds to having to rely more on the state budget and private capital sources, which is very difficult due to unclear risks and profits. In response to this decision, the California High Speed Rail Authority, HSRA, voiced its opposition, affirming that the project has made a lot of progress with dozens of major works completed and many items under construction. HSRA said that the withdrawal of federal funds is baseless, politically motivated, and seriously shakes the progress and plan to complete the project. However, there are still positive signs when HSRA received a commitment to maintain funding from the state budget with a support level of about $1 billion USD per year until 2045. This guarantee is an important financial foundation helping the project stabilize the source of money for construction packages and activities to prepare for trial operation. HSRA is also strengthening cost management, reviewing construction contracts, and optimizing progress to avoid unnecessary expenses. However, the cost challenge is still very large. The total project cost has now exceeded 100 billion USD, much higher than the initial estimate. The main reasons are increased technical complexity, fluctuating construction material prices, prolonged site clearance costs, and complicated legal procedures. Continuing to maintain progress in the context of rising costs puts no small pressure on HSRA and project managers. In addition, the project still faces pressure to mobilize capital from the private sector through public-private partnership to share the financial burden. However, due to risks in progress and unclear profits, private investors are still hesitant making attracting capital still a big challenge. In general, the project's finances in 2025 are in a state of temporary stability with strong support from the state budget, but cannot be called completely sustainable if costs cannot be controlled and more private capital cannot be attracted. If this situation persists, the project is still at risk of stalling or being reduced in scale, thereby affecting the prospect of operating and completing the high-speed rail network across California. In addition to the challenges of progress and finance, the California 2025 High-Speed Rail Project also faces social factors that have a profound impact on its sustainability and development. From a social perspective, the project has not received full consensus from the local community. Although it brings many benefits in terms of economic development and the environment, the prolonged construction and complicated land clearance procedures have created negative reactions, especially from directly affected population groups. A major source of frustration for residents is the project's frequent and significant changes in route and station locations. For example, the route through the Central Valley has been changed several times, rerouting near Fresno Bakersfield in Kings County, leaving many farmers and homeowners confused about whether their property will be repossessed or preserved. Similarly, station locations in places like Merced and Fresno have been repeatedly relocated or redesigned leaving local businesses and communities facing years of uncertainty, unable to plan for the future. Lawsuits and land disputes not only slow down the progress, but also increase costs and reduce people's confidence in the project's success. Moreover, the division of views between urban and rural areas on the level of benefits from the project also makes it difficult to build comprehensive support. On the other hand, the media plays an important role in shaping public perception of the project. The year 2025 saw numerous articles highlighting cost and schedule challenges which somewhat undermined confidence in the project. However, aggressive communications campaigns from the California High Speed Rail Authority and state agencies have sought to highlight the project's accomplishments and long-term benefits, affirming the project's pivotal role in California's sustainable transportation infrastructure strategy. Outlook and Lessons the year 2025 marks a stark paradox for the California high-speed rail project on the construction side. It has been its most successful year to date with dozens of miles of track completed and many key infrastructure projects completed. 
However, on the financial side, the project has fallen into its most serious crisis to date with federal funding cuts amounting to billions of dollars, making the project's financial future more uncertain than ever. Looking ahead to 2026-2033, the Merced-Bakersfield section is quite viable for a commercial operation, although speeds would be limited to around 250 to 300 kilometers per hour instead of the originally planned 354 kilometers per hour. The Gilroy-San Jose line remains heavily dependent on additional funding while the entire San Francisco-Los Angeles line could be pushed back to 2040 or even 2050. The biggest lesson is that the United States can build modern high-speed rail, but the current funding model, which relies heavily on public budgets and revenue from cap-and-trade programs, is not sustainable enough to ensure the project is completed on time and at scale. After a year of 2025 with remarkable construction progress but volatile finances, the remaining question is who will take responsibility and find a way to solve the financial problem so that the California High Speed Rail Project does not just stop at numbers on the drawing board. That's all for today. See you next time.